Hi there, and welcome to Revisit to Retro. I'm Johnny, and today we're doing the Let's Revisit on Gran Turismo 3 on the PS2. So, again, I have no game save for this because memory cards apparently don't last long if they're left sitting on the shelf. So, yeah, a bummer, but what can you do? Uh, and also, again, I know that we have done this in two player funsies, but tough. You're getting it again. So, yeah, this is one of those games that one of the few that my dad was really into, so we'll do all these courses. So six courses to try. I think some are rally courses, so. So this is, I think this is the only track he'd do. It was like this in, uh, he'd only do this and he'd only do Smoky Mountain. So, so I got here. This still looks unbelievable, like, you know. Well, to me it does anyway. Flipping the iris. And the mini. Alright. I want to see where my car is. I have an Audi. So. Might need be Audis in this game. I can't remember. It was Celica though. Honda Civic. Ooh, nice, nice Vauxhall. A-class cars. What have we got here? Different colors as well. Skyline. Lancer. That was my dream car for a long time. I left Viper for a bit and I was like, no, that's the car I want. Then I went back to the Viper. Pretty, uh, see a lot of them around. Uh, seeing, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of them around these days. Corvette, and that's all. So, what's in the super special cars? I need the Vipers in here. Supra, another Supra. There's the Viper. We'll come back to the Viper. Corvette, the touring car Astra. We'll go to Viper because I do love me a Viper. And that still looks unbelievable to me, you know? And as I say in all of these videos I do, that if a game is like the peak of graphics when it's brought out, I will not give out about graphics when it comes to looking back at them, but a shit game from this time, I will. I'll be like, well, this looks crap from comparison, so. All right. Oh, I love the Viper. My old tip for Gran Turismo, inside line. Because if you career off, you'll bounce off them. Oh, sugar. I get two views in this one. I just wanna get up alongside me and get back. It's like a 4 GT or something. cars. I'm gonna break into that pack of cars at the front because I'm kind of in the middle at the moment. Mid-table mediocrity. People do give out about damage in these games, like, oh, there's no car damage. But like, what does it matter? It never bothered me. Bad at time with Gran Turismo, we, we were lied to that you could damage the cars and we spent longer than I'm proud of crashing those cars into each other trying to get and then we convinced ourselves that the wing mirror fell off. The, not, not even the wing mirror, the cover of the wing mirror. Yeah. Oh, 
look at that. Still gorgeous. Yeah, better not be uh, too quiet because the music will be music will be flagged. Right, let's get out of here and go and pick a different track. Damn it! I forgot to look at what car actually fit uh, Wonder Race. What's in the bonus items? Won't be doing that, I'm not good enough. For that kind of stuff you really want to be like have all this stuff unlocked before you uh you get into it, you know. There's high speed ring in this. Hmm, no. We'll do it on easy, and uh, if we can finish first on all these, we'll do the first one again, and we'll see if we can unlock the uh, the main track, uh, the one that's been in all of them. I think it's high speed ring, it's called. I can't remember now. <laughs> I'm on the spot. With the Corvette, I suppose. Oh no, we'll stay with it. We'll stay with the supercars. Look at this bad boy. Of course, when you pick a supercar, you're racing supercars, so your opposition is harder. But it's an easy, so hopefully I can sneak a victory. So yeah, um, this is another game that I got on launch. I had my grandmother go pick it up for me, and it was just like... I had, like back in the day on the unofficial mags, you wouldn't get demos, you'd get like discs with video footage. And they obviously they had this clip for some one of these tracks, so you'll see it in a bit. But where you drive under the trees and the sun is coming through and the reflections of the car blew my mind. So when I got it, I went straight to that track and just like drove through that area, marveling at the graphics. Oh shit. Oi! You sneaky bugger. Is that a Peugeot? Yes. Get back, you fecker. Kicking ass in easy mode. Oh, I spoke too soon. Nice. Can afford to break a bit because they're a bit back on me, so. I do have another game I must play, it's called Driving Emotion Type S and I think it was the first big kind of Gran Turismo wannabe that came out in the PS2 and uh, yeah it's an example of a game from this era that doesn't look as good. I remember the car controls being shite as well. I might do it in a, an episode, I might do it, I might do it next actually. Go find it. I remember it was hyped as well, I think, well, PSW magazine or Total Station, if you remember those magazines from back in the day, like they had in early pictures of it and they were fawning over it. They were like, oh man, the new, I think it was like, I remember the article was like the new king or something like that. I was like, nope, no it wasn't. There's also this game called The Bouncer, which I have, which I didn't get at the time because it didn't interest me, but... They were like hyping the crap out of this bouncer game. And when it came out in, it was like, 
Ah, yeah, it's like 6 out of 10. Boom, look at that. And the best at easy mode. Day, we're looking at all the, re all the replays. Mountain. The other track that my dad really, really, really liked. Bold variations of the Impreza, or the Impreza, whatever you want to call it. The Focus. And the Escort. I'll go with. I'll go with the Escort for the skit. Ooh, the smoke effects or the dust effects in this blew me away as well because you did a long trail of smoke behind you, which oh, I thought was the coolest thing ever. Oh, it's the song from the uh, intro. I. I left the intros out of the actual videos. I, I wanted to put them in, but then. I decided that uh, just in the off chance that it, it, like well there is no off chance there is a very real possibility that these videos get uh, flagged for copyright music copyright so can we get the smoke going? I know it's like you know probably take it for granted now but like that smoke before like back in when I got this I thought it was the coolest thing. What is a, a rain track in this game as well that looked amazing. all the way back um what was i saying oh yeah so i put all the intros for all these on a separate video so like it's a special video with all the intros and uh yeah if you want to go see him you go look at that video but i left him out of these because like i'm gonna like i'm probably gonna get caught for copyright i might make two version yeah, versions of the video one with uh one with the intro stuck on and one without it because that music is pretty loud in this, so it's probably going to be caught on the copyright thing. Because like the Chopper Street Racer was, and uh, some other racing game I have was caught as well. And like personally, it doesn't really bother me as long as the videos get up. But like some people can be, some companies can be real uh, dickheads about it and just move the whole video. Especially Germany, they're really the, the Germans are mad for music copyright. When I did all the Metal Gear Solid videos, um, like Konami claimed all of them, which didn't bother me. But if you went on the Social Blade and looked up my my channel, it's like my channel was claimed by Konami because I had like three videos that uh, they had copyright on. It's now gone, but at the time, I was like you cheeky buggers. Hashtag, you know, I'm gonna swear in two seconds, so you have a chance to block your ears, but. Hashtag fuck Konami. I suppose I could do the Jim Sterling a thing of copyright deadlock in this but a licensed song in the intro. So nobody gets the money. All point one cent of the money. But sure, I don't do this for the money. I do it because it's fun and I enjoy editing as well, so. I'm not one of those YouTubers that uh, claims this is my business or anything like that, you know? It's strictly a hobby. I have a job. Yay, another cup. Now, hopefully when I exit, I'm not, like exit here, I'm not uh, losing out on that cup. And that trophy, so... I'll just take a quick look at... Uh, my bonus items and see how it's shaping up. Oh sweet, we got two. So four to go. 
Oh no 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 go back. Not that brave. Ooh, more more rally action. We might space it out, we might do another tarmac one. This is the one. Trial Mountain is the one with the unbelievable lighting effects. So I'll pick one of these bad boys. I picked a Corvette. A yellow Corvette. I should have picked a different colour, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'll go into the race line. And I'll stay right here and overheat a lot of them. Hey. Like, this still looks gorgeous. I know I keep saying it, but. You know. It just. Going from the Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo. To the PlayStation or the Saturn, like that was a that was a big leap. Like Ridge Racer compared to whatever the fuck on the, the Mega Drive was a huge leap, and that was revolutionary. And then going from Gran Turismo 2 to this, that's a huge leap. But going from this to oh here we go, like that, I thought that was. And this it is very very nice, but that blew my mind back in the day. This way that the, the light coming through the trees reflects off the top of the car. And here again, look at this. I've all those old DVDs with all the promotional stuff inside my other room, the games room. I must go and fish them out, and I might try upload them. But. Uh, Going for ooh, I can't afford to be losing these. So, but like going from this or Gran Turismo 4 to the PS3 version, I'm not entirely sure that was a massive leap. Like, I'm, or go, indeed going from the PS3 version to the PS4 version. You know, that's what we get now. Is that graphics are getting so good with games that it's, uh, it's I suppose resolution is a big thing now, but. Resolution of frame rate. People lose their minds for those things. Now, unless the frame rates and like, like, I don't mind 30 frames. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'll happily play a game that's 30, and like even ones that drop, I don't mind playing. Like, they drop into the 20s. But like, I have played some games that were unplayable. Like, I played Arkham Knight on the PC, and I was just like, nope. It was essentially uh, a slideshow. Again, uh, reflection gasm right there. So, when we're done with this, we'll get through to the next one. We won't unlock all fucking 40 tracks, I said most of them are reverse tracks anyway. But uh, we'll go into the Gran Turismo mode and I'll go looking for my cars. Ones I, because I don't I can't remember if all these are in this or not. But my Corolla, you can definitely get my Corolla in this. And look for Lisa's old car as well. Boom. That's how it's done. Yay! Ooh, lovely heat effects, but we can't watch those because we'll be here for the rest of our lives. Do 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 do. So 
So this is the reverse of the other track. Nice. Now we'll do the we'll do the Subaru. We do it in the rally rally blue. Colin McRae's colours. Must say I wasn't very fond of this model. I was uh, always more did the older style. It wasn't the Colin McRae rally games. It was the one that I like. Oh no, this one is still a nice car, I suppose. Jags in this. See, I can't remember. It's been so long since I played it. It's like in the fours of the game, there's like this flip and rewind feature, which if you feck up, you can rewind back. And it's, it's so silly. Like, why would you have that in a game? I don't know if you can turn it off. You probably can, but. Nah, uh, didn't like it. I know the Forza games do look lovely, but nah, not that. Already. See, I have them on the corner, on the turns, and that because uh, the AI kind of just sticks to oh shit, the race line, whereas I can do where well I just did there. I've seen if the, the right analog stick pressed up, pressed up will uh, accelerate, but it doesn't. Four wheel drive for the win. Now if you do that in drive club, kind of cut a corner like that, to duck your points because you touch the fucking gravel. So, as you might imagine, I am not very good at drive club on the PS4. In case anyone is wondering what this drive club game is, oh shit. Oh, I should be fine. They won't get me on the straight. Excellent. So I'll just take one more swing at uh, the big loopy one. <laughs> Definitely going to save this to the memory card anyway. Uh, yeah. Sure, we have all these. Oh, yes, I saved the Swiss Alps. Cool, there's one here for a second. So, we'll do the big loop. We'll do the Swiss Alps now, actually. We'll be the Lancer. Looking at the 
box. I link compatible. Did anyone ever use that? I wonder. Ah, yeah. Glorious graphics. I do love the little touches in rally games, like I love when mud can get in the car and you can make the car filthy. And also like in the new Conor McRae games, well it was, I think it was in the ones on the PS2 as well actually. Uh, the wipers would work and the water would come off the windscreen and I, I used to like, just drive around in first person mode in the rain. I used to love it. She's some batter in this one. That Mount Blanc there, I wonder. I supposed to go up that one time, but uh, it was too windy so the cable car couldn't go. That's a cool tour. Went to Disneyland as well, and it was absolutely torrential rain while we were there. So that sucked. And we realised then, we learned the hard way that not a whole lot to do in Disneyland, but outside of like Space Mountain and Indiana Jones, right? Not a whole lot else there. There's loads, but it's like nothing for nothing age appropriate, I suppose. Oh shit! It's still fun though. Went on a couple of days, was it three days I think? No, three day holiday to Autumn Towers in England there a couple of years ago. Just spent three days there. It was brilliant. And we got to go on that ride at uh, the Smiler, was it called? It was the one that like it was literally two weeks later, a crash and it cut some people's legs off. It disfigured some faces and they closed it down. But we got to go on it before that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. I think I prided myself on having the most inversions in the world or something like that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And that had a lot of good rides. It was midweek in April as well, so... Like... No real queues to speak of. It took you longer running around to go back on the ride than I did a queue for it. You just ran back straight to the front. It wouldn't let you sit back on the ride again, unfortunately. Even though there was nobody there. So you had to run all the way around and get back on again. Boom! there one more to go and then we'll see what other courses are there for us mm -hmm. <sighs> we'll go to B car we'll go with this one And we're off. Leave them have their precious race line. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I don't see a whole lot of shell petrol stations around these days. Just an observation. Loads of topaz ones. A couple of green apple ones. Amber garage as well. No, no shell. Or SO, they're gone too actually. When I was younger, so back in like the early 90s, they had like a tiger as their mascot and they had like a tiger offer, so most of the source had massive inflatable tigers on the roof. It was really cool until one of them blew off and blew away, blew down the fields. Nice draw distance there, the, the windmills are still hanging in there. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. Oh shit. Cool. Boom. Jesus, Salika got battered. Two Salikas got battered. Alright. Cool, so let's see what we got. Smoky Tokyo Laguna. Hmm, I'm not getting the wet one. Dun 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 dun, I saw. I'm supposed to do Smokey too. It's gonna be a long video in our quest to get that, that rainy track. Let's go with. Let's go to Corolla. Did I pick the Corolla already? I picked the Escort already. I can't remember. The Escort and I picked the Lancer. Sorry if my voice is getting louder and quieter because I'm leaning forward and back in the chair, so. I really should turn the music down. And the, uh, well, there's no point now, but. Gran Turismo 4 when I'm doing that. Gotta turn the music down. I will myself to remember. Finish line there. Yeah. So a minute and a half, so. Sheesh. We should do faster than that this time because we had a rolling start. We'll find out now when I get to the checkpoint if we're behind or ahead. Oh, we're 20, 29 seconds faster than last time. I can't be right. I'm two seconds further ahead of that car anyway.
10 seconds. So keep, yeah, I'm pulling every checkpoint in two seconds faster, so... I should be 12 seconds ahead of him by the finish line, which is just up around the corner here. Sweet, just 8 seconds quicker. Where'd your man finish? 12 seconds back? Still running. Yikes. Any minute now. Yeah, 12 seconds. There we go, yeah. Don't exit, I'll do the race again. Tokyo. We do supercars. I do the super. Has the East Asian writing on it, I suppose, or West Asia, East Asia. Does Chinese, Japanese writing. Whatever one. Probably Japanese. I can't imagine how many Chinese companies were uh, sponsoring cars back in the day. And Toyota are Japanese companies, so. Look at that. Like, that's still gorgeous looking. Tight bend here. Get him on the straight, so I'll be fine. Get away. Oh, this blue bollocks is uh, putting up a bit of a fight. Oh, shit. Oh, oh wow. I'm impressed myself how I took that bend. Let me over the barricades. Oh! Sorry. Whoa. That was a bit silly. Oh, wow. I never use this view, but uh, good sense of speed there. I prefer this one. God, that blue one really wants to win. Pick off and then like a rain track. Car handles really well. I picked this one again, I'd say. Still have the Viper, but this one, like, look at that. Hugs the corners. Now, here's where I, here's where I pull ahead. Get a commanding lead in the straights, and then you can balls up all you want. Second head start on that boy. Oh, he's in third now. Unlucky. Wow. took that really well, it's probably the best corner I've ever taken in the game and I've got countless racing games on this channel that will uh, back up that claim holy shit little bollocks is catching me Oh, that was 
city. No, it's great to have this one. One tank feck. Long track as well. Boom. That's how it's done. Who's the blue? Oh, wow. The other, the skyline. He was on talk, man. First lap. Fell back to fifth. Oh, well. Hey. Cool, we're motoring through these tracks. Grand Valley. We'll try the other super. Oh, should be the same. That way, so I go this way. Oh yeah, this is this is a, a Gran Turismo original. It looks beautiful. Now the ele elegance or grace that was in the Tokyo circus for sure. Two minutes. We're gonna try to get this done in under 140. No silly going off the track up here, and uh, with rolling start as well. So that should buy us at least. No, we can do this in 140. It's up here, come off the track. It's a tight bend. See, I can race properly when I want to. seconds to get oh I might do it in under 140 oh well shit I took that 
too wide and it impacted this corner. Oh well. Jeez, they're still pretty close to me though. Wow, even with all the nice driving. Like one fourth right like the world record in this track, because very optimistic to uh, hoping for this. The Denso, oh man. I'm not treating the Denso right at all. Denso's a good car. Two supers win it though. Gorgeous it is. I'd love to watch the replays, but we have tracks to unlock. Um, for inexperienced drivers, well, what can you do? Might be the dent saw again. I don't know, it'd be something else. Maybe the locket. Or Lucy, it's probably pronounced some real fancy way. There was a good episode of Top Gear years and years ago. I might not even be Top Gear, I might be just doing Jeremy Clarkson's own DVD where he trained for weeks playing, I think it was in Gran Turismo 2, playing this circuit with like the steering wheel and all that to get the feel for it and then actually went into the actual track in a real car and you could compare the, uh, the differences and all that. It's pretty cool. Look at this bollocks. Get out of my way. Oh, too much of a brake core there. Here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and I'm like big balls of it. Mm. So yeah, another track that looks absolutely gorgeous. Aye. catch them again but it looks like I can because they're really crawling up along here that's why they call me the dirtiest player in the game get away that yellow car is out to cause me some hassle I think drive like a lunatic but we got it oh man for whatever reason I thought the track went right there and I was looking at the map so I leave him ahead of me because I can gauge it off him little bollocks tough track I can't imagine there's too many 100 mile per hour 200 mile per hour races on this thing. I just notice the light reflects off the. Uh... I did it again! Oh, what? Oh man, that yellow bollocks. 
we'll come back to this one. And the more lays after that. How many more tracks do I have? Oh, cars I? Oh no, you only lock cars on harder than that. Alright, we'll do Rome and Tahiti and we'll come back to that bollocks of a track. Rome with the Coliseum. Camaro. Be a red Camaro. If you're watching this far into it, I applaud you. Thank you very much. I can't imagine the audience retention is going to be very high in this one. Johnny fucks up Gran Turismo for an hour and a half. Like most, like compared to the last one, most of these tracks I do, I do win by a bit of a margin, like like more than a, more than five seconds. So like, I'm without blowing me on trumpet, I'm too good for easy, but I'm just not good enough for normal. Like I'll win some and I'll lose some, which is not the way you want to be. If you're trying to record a video for a YouTube channel that's that's under three hours long, you know. Fierce. Oh, we are initially, I suppose. No need to break it, they're just taking that corner nicely. Nice car. my look now is like the wet track could be track 150 oh metal balls and ash I still have enough of a, enough of a gap over everybody that I can do that and get away with it I might do the, the Laguna Saka one or however you pronounce it I might do that with uh, not a supercar what I might do get this get the, uh, the Supra out the Supra Supercar. That thing has unbelievable handling. I just gotta be more vigilant. I keep looking behind me, and like glancing up at the track, and then there's like career off the road. So I have a slight, a slight bank to the left, and then a tight right. Another slight right. There we go. And that is another trophy in the pocket. Boom.
Accent. Nice. Tahiti of Gran Turismo 2 fame. The track release went around the track in first gear. Uh, I'm going to go to focus this time. On the way back. We're off. Got across in front of them. in Motorhead I do have a racing game called Motorhead but like the whole selling point of the game is it has Motorhead's music in it and that's it like so you'd be playing it to hear Motorhead and of course the problem is if you play it on this you're gonna be just bent over the table by the copyright but again there's so many if you copyright deadlock I suppose I don't know I'll see in the other room, although it's old, so the music might skip in it. But sure, we shall see. Shit. I figured out I've got a, a big, big lead over this guy. Like I can afford to fanny around. All right. Why are these cones that are on this side of the road? There they are. Oh, I totally missed him. Whoops, again I'm on the way back. Shit. Lead, like too good for easy, not good enough for normal. All of them now bear the Laguna Saco one. I'm um, not gonna. Will I pick the Supra? Ooh. How are we looking? Yeah, Laguna Saco it is.
Te conecica. My mistake. We had some success with you, so I'll pick you again. Wow, must be clocked in well over an hour now. The bollocks picked the exact same car and colour as me. Get out of it. Yes, that's the cornering I want. I don't want your super set you back these is. This guy's gonna be my undoing, I can feel it. It's not falling at that hurdle. Right here, get a bit of a distance on him on this straight. Oh, well, not really straight, but. Oi! And they had me for speed. But I have him for handling. Now. For the life of me, I must remember about this horrible bend up here. I did it again! Oh. Nice. Oi! My buddy. There is a... Uh, there you go. Alright, so I'm on the home stretch here now. There's a couple more bins. The harder bins. And that's a knacker of a bin there, like... Right, when I see the pit lane, it's time to slow. So I always get... I always forget how tight this flipping bend is. Right up my arse again, like I just here. Yes, flipping hell. Super won't let you down. We got Swiss Alps, Trial Mountain, Deep Forest. Hmm. All right. Well, I suppose we'll start here. This is shaped to be a long, long video. Maybe the two or six. All of this to play on a wet track. Luckily I have no uh, discernible social life, so...
Well, at least we're seeing all the tracks, I suppose. Let's try it for this point of view, just to mix it up a bit. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Get back out. Nope. Not brave enough for that. I used a Bravia, a Sony Bravia TV. And like, I've even, I've tried to fix it with the, the brightness controls, but shadowy areas, I can hear like, they're really dark. So, I remember it's been uh, Project Gotham Racing. And like, it was in New York. So, where it was evening in New York and there's no lights. So, the shadows cast for the buildings. You couldn't see where you're going. Like, it was flipping. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You see the headlights with the smoke. Oh, we left it already. I might after this race, just because nobody wants to sit for two hours watching me do tracks on easy, I might cut all the reverse tracks, like, you know, Smoky Mountain 2 and Swiss Alps 2 or whatever, and just have the, the new tracks in it, and, uh, oh, oh no, like oh, Conor McRae, get your arse back there. And then that way then, we don't have a four hour long video. There's Audi there, so there must have Audi's in the game. So I'll do all the new tracks we have and then I'll leave the, the reverse tracks to last and they'll be the ones then that I'll skip. So we're not doing you, Deep Forest will do you, will do you, so yeah we'll do the, the last three except for those ones, fair enough. Is you all reliable? Ah no, it'll be the Viper. My old pal Viper. It's another Gran Turismo original here. Sun come through the tree effects here. No time to look at them now. We've got a wet track to play.
Ay. Oh man, I'm losing the run of myself here. Oh, I blew bollocks. Vertigo. Looks nice. I think the, the white track is just this track, the SS1, the SS1, Jesus, this was this track, whatever it's called, uh, but just at night and wet. Special stage, sorry, the SS track. Another Gran Turismo original. Oi. coming up speaking of type ins there we go so again another gorgeous track lovely headlights are come back there Guys behind me are actually a bit faster. There is the very real possibility that once they get these tracks unlocked and go to the next one or these get the gold trophies in these tracks even that I might even be in the next one so if that is the case I'll I'll record the new tracks and just leave off the, the reverse tracks so you're essentially going to see every track in the game which isn't bad this is a long play 
So, like the Let's Revisit series is more of a kind of a, you know, a kind of a look at. It's like it wasn't uh, it wasn't thought up to be a long play, hundred percent type of thing, but this is what this this episode turned into. I kind of got away with it for Gran Turismo because I had the game saved, so the tracks were already there and. Uh, Gran Turismo 2, I just played the tracks that are available to me and that was a short enough video, but this one... Nice! Ooh, pretty. There's a fly flying around me here. Or like a little motty fly thing, trying to blow them away. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, two more, Seattle and Test Course. I think we'll stick with the all reliable. Supra, the Denso one. Sorry if I'm boring you with the car selection, but this is really just an exercise in getting to the wet track. So we can admire the wetness of it. Or I could just go on YouTube and rob someone else's video and talk over it. That'd be a scummy thing to do. Now, I've mentioned this before, and it's it's something I've noticed in all the driving games I've played that have a Seattle circuit. There always this kind of sunset orange tint to it. Like always. I'm like, what's that about? And I played in this, I think it was in Metropolis Street Racer, Project Gotham Racing. And the other Gran Turismo, I think it was Gran Turismo 2 was this track in, and it's the exact same colour scheme. I kinda think it's a nice look, but I don't know why it's all like I don't see why it's always late evening. Who am I to question it? Oh, kind of a bit too hot there. But we're Alright, recovered well. Those boys are still up my ass, so. <gasps> ah, you don't believe us. I went into the pit lane. That is some bollocks. Oh. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm right back on top of him again. Is he driving like a bunch of squares? Mm, pretty well it cut me off in the corner so I'm get him on the straight. I'm done by a bloody pit lane. I don't believe it. Sorry, I'm panicking slightly. I was undone by a pit lane. I had a commanding lead. They all bunch into the corner here. Get out of the way, other car. Maybe, maybe don't go into the pit lane this time. Come in 
a bit hot again. That's alright, as long as I don't go down there. Should be fine, yep. Phew! What? Nelly Panic Station's there. Just those two tracks. Yeah, the test course should be easy enough. Oh well. Give me the Astro Touring car. The things are pretty well in other races I've seen. In their car on R6. You know, is this track actually? That's the other one. This is the track, one of the tracks my dad only play. Alright. Eat my dust. into the bend. There we go. Oh. Pretty tight group there. One bad move here and you, you lose this one. Holy crap. Oi, you're very close to me there now, boy. See, you're beating me. You little bollocks. Yeah, there's not a lot to say about this track. Oi! Oh, man. Look at that! The upper side is Oh, your man was still out in the Corvette. I'm... probably gonna lose this. Are you all like slipstreaming each other? There and all. Wow. I have on the straights. It's on the bends they kill me. Get my slipstream inspectors. See over there. Alright, so maybe I might stand the outside line this time. So there's no chance of them getting past me. Back, you fecker. 
Oh, shit, he has me. Wow, this is actually pretty intense shit here. Nice. Got him both in my sight. Blue guy's making this move. Oh, where do you think you're going? See people just in the motorway going to work in the morning. They deliberately get in front of you to slow you down. Oof. Look at him. If I spin off over him, who would have thought that the track with two turns and it would have been the hardest one I have to do? Jesus, that was tight. Now you can overtake me now, boys. Come on. My ass is going numb. Nice. I'm gonna skip the next track so it'll be back at, at the screen and then we'll hopefully have the wet track so you're not looking at Swiss Mountain 2 making the video five hours long. Okay, I went ahead and I beat all the rest of the tracks and wouldn't you know it, the bloody rainy wet track is like the last feckin' bunch of tracks so to go through all the reverse tracks. So there's a couple of um, a couple of different tracks in there, but the vast majority were just reverse tracks of ones we already played. So let's do it, and we can we can go a bit easier now because I have mine locked, so I'm not uh, trying to win every race. Now, where was I? Seattle. Oh, I think this one, and then yeah. So these are the next batch. See all the twos. Tahiti Maze. Look at that feckin' thing. This one was an absolute balls of a track, but sure. Let's go do it. Actually, let's up the difficulty. Oh, I can't up the difficulty, sure, because I unlocked it on a different, on easy, so I'm kind of tied to this. But it's fine. Uh, let's mix up the cars a bit. Let's go to the Escort. So yeah, I went ahead and I, this is, you know, so I do for you guys, I go and play the same tracks backwards for about an hour and a half, wait a couple of days and then record part two. Nice. So this track was an absolute bollocks. Probably won't be so bad now because I played it twice. I played it. Uh, once forward, once backwards. And d actually doing this, uh, I can't remember if I said this in earlier in this video, which would be part one, I suppose, because I recorded this on two different days, but it this has inspired me to go back and I had a Gran Turismo 2 video uh, in the like in the can ready to go. And I'm going to go back and redo the video and unlock all the, all the tracks. And I think that's what I might do with these videos. We'll see how long that lasts. Also, as I record this, I've just put the collection. A new thing I'm going to do now is... Like, they're not going to be main episodes, but they'll be like bonus episodes you could say I'll, I'm gonna throw them up midweek or over the weekend but they're gonna be uh, the one I brought up was the Gran Turismo intro collection which is just all the intros for uh, all the Gran Turismos so when I see the music and numbers at the beginning that video is there for you I had like six copyright claims on it but eh, it didn't matter 
I, uh, I took the Jim Sterling approach and left them uh, in a state of copyright deadlock so they can all fight each other for the cent and a half that's gonna make got two laps of this bollocks like nice hey look at that, let's trip it the novelty so yeah so this is obviously as I said there this is my I waited a couple of days. I did attempt to record a part two of this, like this, what I'm doing now. Not yesterday, the day before, so on Tuesday. So this is on a Thursday. But I swapped monitors. So I have two computers. I got the editing one, which I use here, a capture on this as well. And I got my regular, just casual PC, I suppose, which is a gaming rig as well. And I swapped the monitors. I just I never liked. I have a, so I have a Bravia monitor and I have a cheaper Walker monitor. And obviously the Bravia one is, is much nicer. And I had the Bravia one set up with this. But then I realized that outside of editing, I don't use this computer as much as I use the casual one. So I, I said, feck it. I can use the Walker monitor here and I'll put the Bravia one over with the other computer. Look at this crap. The camera goes behind the wall. Sorry, that happened a lot as well when I was playing this, trying to unlock the tracks. So yeah, I swapped them over. And now there's not a big difference here, but when I went to play this the other day, it was like the video was was crap. It was, just the input was all butted in the middle. It was playable, but I decided to let it be and I, I come at it again. And I turned it on today and it just worked perfectly straight away. So if you ever watch any of my play, it, it seems to be the PlayStation 2 specifically because I have seen this problem before and I can't remember how I, I remedied it at that time but it's if you ever see a bit of uh, blurriness across the center of the screen or the top of the screen it's because of that but it's not there now so Ooh. come on Boom. I think that's the worst track out of the way now. Just a pain in the bollocks. Hey, won a cup again. Alright. So, Tahiti is done. I think there's probably five additional tracks, including this one. There's Apricot, there's an Apricot track. Apricot, Apricot Hill, or oh, the special, so three, four, five, the mythical wet track, yeah, so five, five tracks, so let's Apricot it up, we can, we can go a bit crazy here, we can, let's see what we have in the D range, or the C range even, compressor, MR2, Oh no. Ugh. We'll go with the MR2. A friend of mine had an MR2 before he had a black one, so we'll get the black one. He that's the exact car he had. And we were driving around in Ireland in November with the roof down. Because you know, when else you're gonna do it. Some might say the summer, but have you seen Irish summers? Nice. Gotta go for their race line, but I know better. So this is a nice enough track. Got two two nice straights in it. So Lexus, man, look at that Lexus at that once upon a time. That's actually the one I, I, if you recall, I was telling a story about how I don't like rear-wheel drive cars, and it was actually the Lexus I was driving. Barely going around a corner, it was raining that day. Barely went around a corner in the stage, wasn't going that fast, and 
So he's been kicked out and spun. Scared the crap out of me. Oh man. After driving supercars or souped up cars to unlock all these tracks, these cars seem so sluggish. I might go back to the supercars after this. Oi! Get back there. Oi! Oi! Yeah, but you're gonna break here and I'm not, so I'm gonna win. Oh. Or I'm gonna break later, I should say. <laughs> Tap those brakes. Alright, so we've settled into our usual position of uh, first, so very good. Also, in other news this week, I got a 100 meg broadband installed, so yep, my life has dramatically changed. Dramatically changed. I had no internet for probably two months. I had a, a contract dispute with my previous providers who used to offer 3 megs and that, that did me, that was fine, like well, I had its frustrating moments like playing online it more often than not didn't work for playing online and uh, downloading movies you just set your downloads and you'd, you'd go, go to work and come back and something might be done have 100 megs now that's not a problem anymore so I used to up upload all these episodes in Lisa's place because she had good internet but now I'm self-sufficient so all good like I wasn't staying with 3 megs for years because I was with, with them for 9 years I wasn't staying with 3 megs because you know, at any fondness for three megs, it was that's all, like literally out in my neck of the woods here. That's all you had, like, and it wasn't even fiber, like it was, it wasn't wired into the house. It was on a ah oh, shite. It was a bloody antenna receiver on the roof, and that's it was like aerial broadband. So, like, if a cat farts three miles away, your reception drops. You know, it was, but it look it served its purpose for all those years. And the dispute was essentially, ooh, I might nick this one. Go on. Oh, don't you just hate that? The dispute was nine years ago. I signed up with them. The contract rolled over after one, and like so, I was essentially with them for eight years without a contract. And that was fine. That suited me. Uh, it suited all of us. But then. Broadband started coming, proper broadband started coming in out here, and my broadband was turned off. My three meg broadband didn't work anymore, so I rang them. I was like, "What story?" And they were like, "Oh, we'll come and fix it, but you have to sign this eighteen month contract." And I was like, "What? what like, no, I can be with you without con a contract. You know, never missed a payment. So, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna do that." And we kind of left it that, and I rang them back then because I had been with them for so long, and I was like, "Look, I'll sign it, but like, up me, up my broadband, up." the limit to like like seven you could do seven I'll take seven and uh, no they wouldn't budge the feckers so good luck to you let's pick this one so yeah that was it and I left and I've been tethering for my phone for about two months and then finally I got proper broadband in the other day and this get a breath fresh air Ooh, there's like a roof light in this one. Ooh, there's like... Oh, there it's back there. They went the Ridge Racer route and this end of the big, like, lit up colourful Ferris wheel. Look at that, a 
body cars in this one. So yeah, another gorgeous track. Nighttime. They look well. Just imagine how amazing this would be back in 2002, is it this coach? Get out of the way. Oof. Yeah. Pretty fair swim. I don't know what this is meant to be. Is it meant to be Tokyo? I've never, never looked it up. Well, Yokohama, so, but they're also a company, so it could be. I'm gonna say Tokyo. I feel like Tokyo. Look at that flash bulbs. You don't see those anymore. Now you got to have oceans of people holding up their phones at everything. I mean, like, who's ever going to look at those videos again? Who goes to, like, a concert? Or... You see, they're wrestling, or anything like that. Like, oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll record on the phone, that's better than watching it live. Did I go to the pit lane? No, I didn't. And, like, they hold it up for, like, nearly the whole thing and record the whole event, and they, they miss... They're essentially missing the event. Like, are they gonna go and watch like three hours on their phone of shaky recordings? I don't know. I don't know what people think. I think it's just a novelty. Back in the day, people took photos and that was that would do them. But now it's like because you can record like on some phones you can record 4K video. Um, well, for 20 minutes, but you can record 4K video. I think that's kind of taken over, and people just do that now. And yes, I'm, I'm guilty of doing it myself. I was at Blur a long time ago now, Jesus. About the same time I signed up with an internet company, eight years ago, as at Blur and Oxygen, and I recorded some on my phone at the time, and it was really crap quality when I did it. But it wasn't the whole concert, like, it was only like one song, or anything really cool I saw recorded. It's like a driving game, and here I am having a go with people going to concerts recording with their phones. You get like, oh, what? What was it? It was like the US. Oh, oi! Oi! Cheeky bugger. Was this some golf event? You want to say the Irish Open? or one of, uh, I wasn't in the Irish Open, but. Like one year they're strictly forbidding you from using your phones. Like don't use your phones, it puts off the golfers. And then like this year they're like a prize will be given for the best photo taken. It's like entrapment there, like. You get thrown out of the event, but you also might win a golf sweater, you know. It's a strange song. I don't recall hearing this one before. Make my move. Here it is. Go. I oh, know he's got legs on me. I can't take him. What is a second place? A silver medal will do. Excellent. So. Spoon. There's a car called a spoon. Quality. Um. Let's see. Oh, this one. I think. Is this where the Formula One is held? Is this Monaco? 
Monte Carlo. I think that's a Monaco. It certainly feels like it. Well, we'll go with. I'll put this one. I'm not going to piss around with those other cars anymore. Use the supercars, that's what they're there for. Cote d'Azur. Probably pronounced that arseways, but what you gonna do? Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely the Formula One course. Get out of the way! Come in. Well, it's pretty, the sun coming in. I was so concentrating so hard on this, actually playing these one, lot of tracks, I didn't really take in much of the scenery. This guy's a bit of a rocket, isn't it? Oh! The wrong way. Now I'm in sixth. But it is grand. Let's pass by my twin. Of this, yes, aggressive driving wins the day. I was still on the first lap, but aggressive driving will win the day. So, yeah, this is shaping to be a long video. Uh, before I even did this part, like the, before the, the second day, it was already at like the one hour, one and a half hour mark. But I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, like, it could have been just me playing the courses that were there, but obviously, as you would have witnessed, uh, getting into it and getting, like, I actually, which is really, like, really something I wasn't expecting was I really got into Grand Turismo 3 for like a couple of days and played it like I would have played it back in the day, so that was pretty cool. So it could be about two hours when I release it, which is again something I don't mind. I know people have given out about longer videos before, but I, as I've said before, and I know I, I do split up some videos, but they're in hour over like hour long longer than an hour sometimes chunks you know they're about an hour and a half long chunks it's not like other people that have released videos in the past that were like 10 minutes each and their Gran Turismo 3 playthrough is like you know ooh 67 parts I prefer doing it this way and then your videos in one place you know because I, I'm already regretting doing Metal Gear the way I did it because especially with Konami like they hound you for copyright and because I've got eight I want to say eight Metal Gear related videos like for a brief period of a couple of weeks there if you look in Social Blade, I know I said this already, but if you look in Social Blade, it was my, ch my channel was claimed by Konami it was really weird and like it meant no difference to me but I just didn't like it so if I maybe had all those videos as one long video, it would have been three videos, and maybe it wouldn't have been as bad. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm still learning this YouTube malarkey, learning what's working, what's not working. Boom! First again. So like there are there are things I want to do. Ray Brig. There are things I want to do and changes I want to make obviously but in time I'll do it it's just getting time you know to sit down and like I get enough time over the weekends I record at the weekends mostly I say for today when I'm doing this on a on a Thursday but like, I'll just have, have a big stack of games here and I'll I'll go through them move consoles in and out as I need them all right here it is the reason we're doing this whole thing is for the wet track now there was a commercial when this came out which had the viper so i'm gonna go with the viper because you know well, it is my my dream car 
So in our other videos, I like to do more in-depth kind of like retrospectives on games, which isn't necess necessarily me playing it for, you know, eight videos, eight parts of three hours each, you know, but kind of more inform informative videos. So we'll see how they go over a couple of months. I might aim for after Halloween or maybe next year and start up those. But look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the road. Like, this is totally worth sinking six hours into. And also, your handling is compromised because of the road as well. You, you skid and slide around, so. Look at that. Like, it's. Uh, like. I'm being 14, 15 year old me now. Remembering how I felt when I played this for the first time, and it just, it's incredible. It still looks incredible. Get closer to that wet road. Ooh. See, it's still gorgeous. You can see the kind of the, the halo around the lights because of the mist. All is missing is the wipers. If the wipers are going now, it would be the perfect little detail. Now I think I hit the have the handbrake on, so it's just oh I'm gonna be sliding. Oh nearly did a complete turn there. Let's grant it's an easy mode, I'll just overtake them all again. Get away! Look at him! Little bollocks! You filthy fecker, yeah. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, you're gone. There. there we are. The last stretch of the game. It was all worth it just for the wet track. <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. Another trophy added to the rest. Look at that. That's still gorgeous. Alright, I'm gonna start fawning over the game. I'm gonna watch a little bit of replay. So the video's already nearly two hours long, so what's another minute or two gonna make to it? Look at that, like it's. Just ignore my terrible driving. So we'll go to the wrap up. Cool, so that Gran Turismo 3 finally done, and it's an absolutely, still an absolutely epic game. It's still absolutely gorgeous you know like how much in advance has there been since 2002 if you think about it or 2001 sorry looking at the box here 
Uh, no, it's uh, as I said during the video. I actually instead of just glossing over it and just like you know doing the tracks that are at the beginning and that, I actually got to play the whole thing through essentially and do the, all the arcade mode and uh, got all the tracks unlocked in easy mode. I'll be but still, you know, I got to sit down with it properly for the first time in 15 years and really really play it and it was absolutely amazing and I really did enjoy it and it's really held up well so definitely if you do see this anywhere in sex or, or CEX or you want to call it if you ever see it, it's going second hand because it is cheap as chips these days I've seen it for a couple of quid you probably get it on Amazon or eBay for a couple of quid as well definitely get it it's still amazing it still looks amazing and it's still an amazing game um, number one is still my favorite Gran Turismo is still my favorite but I'd this one, like, they're all, the first three I think are perfect and the fourth one kind of lost me a bit and I kind of fell out with them then. Like I have the others but I never really got into them the same way I got into the first one or the like the second or third one. So yes, still an excellent game, still very highly recommended so go for it. So yeah, cool, we'll leave it there. Um, uh, I usually give my spiel now so I'll do that. So if you like what you saw, okay, assuming you watched two hours, wherever long this is, of this video, uh, why not give it a like and subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. Also, we have dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of videos on this channel, you go check them out. It's not just racing games, although it might seem that way, we have a lot of racing content, but there's a lot of fighting games, there's shooting games, there's Olympic games, you know, there's football, there's tons and tons of stuff there to go and enjoy. Uh, also, we have a Twitter page, and I do tweet in it occasionally, so go and do Twitter things to me, and I'll Twitter back. And there's a Facebook page, which, um, you know, is still very young, there's only maybe 20 people on it. But, you know, it's a good way to get in contact. Uh, I, I do try and re reply to every comment that goes up in the videos, but if you want to send a comment to Twitter or to Facebook, I'll always respond to them, you know. Yeah, so that's it, so we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.